Well, imagine the worst pain that you've ever felt. Then imagine living with that pain day in and day out for years. Victoria Stop says that she had no idea what it was like to cope with chronic pain until she was hurt. Pensacola native has written a book about her search for relief, and the Fox Medical team's Beth Galvin joins us to talk about it. Beth. And good morning, Elise. And when Victoria Stop first got hurt uh, and she injured her neck, she was in her 20s and she figured she'd be back out on the soccer field in a matter of days, maybe with a little medication. But that was just the beginning of a decade of pain, and she's only now coming out on the other side. Victoria Stop has written her story about what it's like to live in the shadow of pain. It's a scary place to be. It's, it can feel very hopeless. The 38-year-old Agnes Scott graduate was injured 10 years ago as a young emergency medical technician working in the back of an ambulance. My patient was screaming for help. He was in a lot of pain and I wanted to help him and I thought it was an okay time to stand and our driver took off and I got thrown through the back of the ambulance. Stop suffered three herniated discs in her neck which eventually turned into more back problems than a fibromyalgia diagnosis. The more doctors she saw, the more pills she was prescribed. These doctors were not trying to hook me on pills. There was no scam or scheme to it, but they ran out of options. In her book, Hurting Like Hell, Living with Gusto, Stop Right, she finally reached her breaking point, not on an opioid drug. But I was on a different medication that had a ton of side effects for pain, and I almost burned my house down. And that was when I was like, no, I can't do this anymore. She began trying alternative pain treatments like chiropractic work, acupuncture, massage, cutting out sugar and processed foods from her diet to reduce inflammation that can trigger pain. At first I was very grumpy, <laughs> but fairly quickly some normal aches and pains disappeared. She also does yoga, stretching and core body work. And about a month ago I was approved for medical marijuana mm -hmm. and that's been a, a huge difference maker. It has taken a lot of trial and error, but Victoria Stott feels better than she has in years, which is why she wanted to share her story. I hope people can read that book and get some hope from it. And Stop now works as a physical therapy assistant, and she still has pain, but no longer does it control her life in the way it once did. And you heard her mentioning that she has been um, authorized to use medical marijuana. She lives in Florida, not Georgia, where she has wider access mm. to medical marijuana. The laws are a little looser, more relaxed there. So has she been able to get back to working out yet? So um, she she has, but not back to soccer. Soccer is what you know her real love in life. But um, she has been able to start exercising again, and she thinks that's been really critical in helping her get back on her feet and helping her cope with pain is staying strong and keeping herself from getting injured again. Sure. And does she have any advice maybe for other people who are struggling with chronic pain? What would she tell? Well, them? the one thing she's saying with this book is, I'm not telling you what to do, but this is my story and this is what works for me. And so she really encourages people not to give up, to keep looking for options, even if it's outside the traditional box of the doctor's office, looking at alternatives and complementary uh, therapies and things like that, anything that can help you lessen the pain in your life because it's a hard, mm -hmm. hard journey to live it's that way. Good to see Victoria doing a lot yeah. better. Yeah, some hope for others that are suffering Absolutely. with it. Absolutely, I hope it does. Beth, thank you. Sure.